Welcome to Six Figs. I'm Kyle and in today's video we're talking about major milestones that have been hit that will allow Bitcoin to thrive even further than it already has. We're talking about TAP protocol and how they have leveraged chain fusion technology to launch Bitcoin native smart contracts and DeFi tools directly on Bitcoin layer one. This is huge. Let's get into TAP protocol and kind of what they're doing. So if you've been in the crypto space for any given amount of time, you're familiar with Bitcoin. You know that it's been the king of market caps. You know that it's been the king of decentralization and security. It stood the test of time so far but it's not exactly known for its flexibility. And you've got a couple side chains here and there that try to bring utility to Bitcoin even more so than it already has. But when you talk tap protocol combined with chain fusion, um, this is a, a game changer because yeah, it just allows smart contracts to be deployed directly on Bitcoin's layer one. And it kind of eliminates the need for a lot of these other smaller uh, side chains and, and, and things like that. Um, I do think that this is a huge win across multiple facets within Bitcoin. And simply because um, when it comes down to it, it's not just digital gold any longer. It is now this financial ecosystem or has the potential to become a financial ecosystem in itself so at the end of the day adoption is going to be huge it's one of the largest branded rec most recognized crypto blockchains in the entire world next to probably ethereum right and with the ability to run smart contracts developers who previously kind of leaned on Ethereum or other chains might consider building on Bitcoin and they're going to have first mover advantage through TAP protocol, through chain fusion, which will help drive the further demand of Bitcoin and things like that. Like I said, Bitcoin has stood the test of time. It is the most battle tested blockchain uh, pretty much out there and when it comes down to it I think that tap protocol is bringing innovations to the most secure foundation possibly in the world at this point alongside all of the other super secure uh, blockchains so this minimizes tremendous risks and exploits that could happen on other platforms Although errors in code and things like that happen and exploits happen, um, you know, on the application level uh, a lot. So, I mean, when we zoom out and look at the potential of this in like two or three years, five, ten years, uh, what could we, we be looking at? I mean, at the end of the day, you know, Bitcoin really is this massive, massive opportunity uh, to deploy DeFi on uh, in at this at this point in time, and I do think that this will allow trillions of dollars to be basically uh, unlocked and integrated into Bitcoin's ecosystems. That's where there's going to be a tremendous amount of money made. It's when that transition happens, and this could really make bitcoin a central hub for DeFi right alongside ethereum in my opinion i don't think ethereum is going anywhere and i do think that ethereum if they can solve their gas issues will continue to thrive it's the biggest DeFi playground that we know of and i do think that this chain fusion advancement for bitcoin will just kind of help cement its position not just as the leader in digital gold, but as a blockchain where you can kind of 
go to for anything and everything, right? Um, so that's kind of my overview on what I think about TAP protocol. And when we look at like Bitcoin and ICP, um, I think that it's a match made in heaven. And I do think that if we look at the Bitcoin charts, we're just going to look at the three day charts. Early on, I, I was kind of hopeful that we might see some sort of inverse head and shoulders. But now we are kind of ripping out a very nice cup and possibly uh, handle. There is a handle here. There is uh, an expanding wedge happening. But this is nonetheless a handle. I do hope that uh, if we switch over to the weekly, we can kind of see that uh, price action is kind of flirting with this 50 moving average. And I do hope that we see another bounce just like we saw back in 2021. Price came down, tested the, the 50 moving average and advanced upwards. So at this point in time, we are seeing price coil. We've got an ABCDE corrective wave. We're pushing on the 50 moving average with Bitcoin. This is the weekly chart. I don't think we're going to see any moves get made soon. But when I look at measuring out a cup and handle, I like to measure from the edge of the cup or the brim on the top down to the bottom of the cup. And we get this little measurement here. Now, if we measure down to like the low point here of this handle, you could kind of see where we might, it's possible, see Bitcoin run up to a quarter million dollars, maybe 180,000 to a quarter million, somewhere if this thing executes. And that's a if. Don't get excited. This is not financial or trading advice. If this cup and handle executes, it has every potential to just send it. Um, so when we look at ICP, it's in a very, very similar uh, situation as Bitcoin. When we look at these charts, we can see the fact that, guess what? There is a cup and handle that is forming along two very significant resistance points, right? We saw resistance from this area back in 2022, resistance from this area in 2024, but we have a cup forming and we do have price action. You might be able to argue that this could be some sort of rectangular cup or handle, excuse me, uh, formation happening here. When we look at this three-day chart, it appears to me that we're seeing a symmetrical triangle squeeze or something of that effect. I'm hoping that at this point we see Bitcoin or excuse me, ICP start to rally and maybe come back up to test this 50 moving average around this $10.50 to $10.90 level. What I would really like to see is price come back up to this $21 ish uh, level. And I would love to see price come back down and bounce off this 50 and move upwards like that because that would form us a very nice ascending uh, triangle which is extremely bullish right now i think we just need to play the waiting game on icp and crypto in general and simply because there's a lot going on right now if we look at what's happening with the elections what's happening with uh, the world it seems like it's on the brink of war. It's terrible things happening all over the place. And I do think that um, Bitcoin and crypto has thrived during any time uh, of its existence. Doesn't matter if there's war going on. It's always existed. Uh, and I do think that we are seeing candidates, at least here in the United States, become more bullish and friendly towards crypto. So... I think that November, going into November, early 2025, I think that there is a possibility to see the market start ripping off, possibly later this fall, uh, something like that. I do want to go ahead and just throw up a Fibonacci time sequence between two dramatic swing high and swing low points. And really, when it comes down to it, October 15th, 2024, could be something to kind of look at uh, going forward. If we look at previous Fibonacci time sequence, you know, Friday, 
September 27th, somewhere in there could be another significant point of uh, reversal, increased volatility. Um, so with that said, folks, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like the video, uh, and we'll see you guys all in the next one.